Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Pisces. So Pisces or Cross Watcher, wherever you have this planetary placement in your chart, please only claim this reading from your higher self and for your higher good and only if it truly resonates. If it doesn't fit, there is no forcing it. All right, let's hit this. Clearing ground for Pisces, please. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Pisces. Pisces, we are working with energy. It's fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field. Hold on a second. Here we go. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today. Yeah? Yeah. Romance angels to start. Ancestors for Pisces. Romance angels for Pisces. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Pisces. 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 Whoa. I don't want to back in my hand. Did you see that? Okay. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So some of you really need to do that. And then go out and get your ass out there. Look cute and go flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So let the past go. It's in the past. It's done. Move forward in a positive direction and flirt your ass off, Pisces. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So some of you might really be concentrating on your career or something like this. But there's some kind of passion coming in. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. All right, Pisces, let's get out the tarot. But before we do, the healing sound bath that you hear playing in the background today is set at 182 hertz, 182 megahertz. This is for your solar plexus chakra. So that's what we're working on, okay? This solar plexus chakra is located in or around your belly button. The element for it is fire. It unlocks inner peace, raises confidence and power, positivity, energy, vitality, and it's good for manifestation, okay? The mantra for the solar plexus chakra is I do. It's action-oriented. I do. It's fire, okay? The color is yellow. So if you were going to work with crystals, you would need yellow aventurine, yellow jade, citrine, yellow tiger eye, perhaps, lemon jade, golden calcite, golden topaz, and anything with an amber you perhaps yellow carnelian would be good show me show me here we go okay here we go pisces pisces thank you pisces we have two of wands in reverse okay first of all it's you know the cards are always in the upright some of them are twisted around usually like me but they're always in the upright okay two of wands in reverse somebody here is um Maybe overanalyzing a situation, okay? And there could be some kind of fear of the unknown, so somebody's, like, avoiding some kind of risk, or they think they are. But they're doing this by not making a move, not making a decision, and, you know, just sitting there pulling something apart. Two could be of significance or February. Maybe you're born on the second. Show me. Somebody might have big dark circles under their eyes um, for lack of sleep or worries, something like this. Here we go. You have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Oh, my God. All right, so listen. There could be a situation where somebody's really bitter here or they have some kind of resentment. Queen of Swords in reverse is a cold energy of someone who might be a little pessimistic or cold-hearted, overly emotional. I always call the Queen of Swords in the reverse the bitter bitch, so bitter about something, some kind of resentment. Um, this looks like it's a challenge. You could, you could have a situation where you're feeling... Well, you have some kind of resentment or hard-on for something here, okay? And it's making you feel very pessimistic and cold-hearted and perhaps even cruel. And uh, with the fear of the unknown here, this is the situation. Some of you got to get out of your head like this. You got to stop feeling... What are we feeling? Overly emotional or... Maybe analyzing something in a very harsh, bitter, cruel way. Here, you got the Knight of Pentacles at the foundation of the situation. So there's some kind of hardworking, diligent, goal-oriented energy here, okay? Somebody could have committed themselves to something. It could have been something financial. Somebody could have been trying to make themselves a solid foundation of some kind of stability. Something like this. But putting the, the work and effort into something, okay? Somebody might have come in and offered some kind of a, maybe a new job or something solid, like a pentacle, but... I'm seeing a giant spider web in the corner of a door. Something about a giant spider web. Something could have happened around Halloween. Halloween could be self-significance. Maybe something happened then or October. Seven is so... Oh, man. Oh, man. 
We got a Seven of Swords crowning you, Pisces. Upright, no less. So, Seven of Swords, we know, is some kind of betrayal. Some kind of lie. There's something deceptive going on. Somebody's trying to scheme. Some kind of strategy. Somebody's being sneaky. It's a Seven of Swords. Somebody's trying to get away with something. Yeah. There's, a, there's Fugazi shit. The cheese doesn't smell so good in Denmark. Show me what's going on over here. Danish, Danish. I'm hearing Danish cheese. What the? Ooh, look at this. You have a Knight of Cups coming in. So look, I don't know what this is, the Seven of Swords. You know, Seven of Swords does come in all different levels of devils, right? Somebody might just be strategic and sneaky here. It might not be like a really big betrayal or somebody just might be lying and trying to trick you, okay? Here you go, Nine of Cups. You have some kind of wish coming true here. You're going to have some kind of contentment, satisfaction, and success. It's going to bring you some kind of comfort and emotional fulfillment coming in for you, Pisces. The ninth could be of significance or the month of September. Let's go. Somebody could be 79 here. Yep. Or 29. 72. <laughs> All right. Show me. So... You're looking at this, ooh, you're looking at this like the higher font in reverse. So you're looking at this like perhaps it's a challenging situation. Maybe you do not want to conform to, because that the higher font reverse is a non-conformist. This is somebody that's a rebel without a cause. They're going to do things their own way. They like to challenge tradition. You know, you're going to challenge this. You're not, uh, it's the higher font reverse. Maybe you have a new method of doing something here, you know, and that's is what you're going to do. Whatever this is, you're looking at this like... Like, maybe you need to be a little rebellious, and this is how you're going to get your emotions filled. All right, this is good. This is really good. Show me. I mean, it's Taurus energy. I, I don't have a problem with the higher font reverse, because I'm kind of rebellious myself. And I like to challenge. I like to challenge everything and everybody, right? So this is what, um, on a personal note, not on tarot. <laughs> but you know what I mean? So, it's, uh, you know, it's called oppositional defiance disorder. People try to... When, treat, when people try to make you conform, like the Hierophant upright, okay, and try to make you follow rules and regulations and traditions that somebody else made, I don't know who and where, but like all of a sudden it's the rules. You know, you're like, bullshit, these are not the rules for me. I'm going to do things my own way. And by doing things your own way, you're going to get this emotional fulfillment. Thank you, spirit and ancestors. I didn't know where the hell that was going. So in your mind's eye, you know that by not conforming to the what everybody wants you to do, and you know by that, you know, challenging, challenging... Whatever traditions or rules or regulations or the way people do things, doing it in your own way, like a rebel without a cause, you're going to get your emotional fulfillment, satisfaction, and your wishes true. This is what. Just do it your way. I did it my way. Now I'm hearing, wow, that's really old. That's not even from my day. That's like way before my day. But I'm hearing, I did it my way. So, regrets, I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. <laughs> Pisces, holy shit, you're bringing me back to my, no, well, maybe my parents. It could be my grandparents. I don't know, but listen. All right, so definitely Frank Sinatra. Oh, shit, look at this. Okay, but we're not taking it. Uh, Frank Sinatra, you know, maybe somebody's name is Frank. I don't know how many people are named Sinatra out there, but Elvis Presley also sang that too, so perhaps... Okay, here we go. So now, um, you know, in your actual environment, you have the devil in reverse. Oh, Pisces, you see what's going on here? Capricorn, you are reclaiming back your power, okay? Whatever was controlling you, and it could have been anything. It could have been people. It could have been some kind of people trying to make you conform or do things in their way or their rules and follow their regulations, whatever the fuck it was. It could have been drugs. It could have been, you know, codependent relationships. It could have been anything. Something had control over you or they wanted to. And you are, you're like, fuck you. I'm claiming back my power. I'm doing things my way. Go conform your own way. And because of this, it's bringing you in some kind of wish come true happiness and success. I love it for you, Pisces. That's right. Go be strong. Do it. The devil in reverse. Capricorn energy for, uh, yeah, I'm detached from you. I am independent. This is Independence Day. Oh, maybe Independence Day. Maybe something's going to happen by July 4th. I don't know. But I'm free. <laughs> uh, you overcame everything. We're claiming back your power. Whatever it was. Drug addiction, codependent relationships, any kind of toxic motherfuckers that thought they were going to tell you what to do. You know, bosses, bossy people, whatever, whatever. Rules, regulations. No. You did it your way. Okay, so here, let's go. You're going to. You're doing it your way, and it's working because you're reclaiming back your power. You're bossing up here, Pisces. And you're having wishes coming true and success and happiness. And most of all, emotional freaking fucking contentment, right? Now, you could have the 15th could be of significance of the month or the 6th 
or the month of June for something. Here we go. And again, I'm seeing 7th or July. So, ooh, look at this. Look at this. Did I tell you this, Pisces? Listen, Pisces, whatever you're doing, whatever it is, I don't give a shit who's coming and telling you that you're doing it wrong. You're not following regulations. You Keep doing things your way. Stand your ground. Do not let anybody come and fucking try to get in your head. Don't do it. Because look what you have. You have spirit telling you to concentrate on your happiness. This is the happiest card in the deck. It's Leo Energy. It's about positivity, joy, and freedom. Freedom. Born free. Yeah, somebody. <laughs> this, you're freeing yourself up somehow. You're freeing yourself up from any anything that was trying to control you. You're doing it your way. You're emotionally happy. This is all coming in for you, Pisces, okay? And the sun. So, you know, something might be illuminated here. Uh, obviously, it could be. But, you know, whatever this is, it's going to have some kind of deep roots that's going to be a long-term emotional fulfillment, happiness. You know, it's going to give you confidence. It's going to open you up. It's, it's going to be a lot of positivity and joy in your life. A lot of freedom. The 19th could be of significance. Uh, 9 to 1 is 10. So, October. I told you, Leo energy, Capricorn energy, Taurus energy. What else? What's the most likely outcome for this? Pisces, this is a beautiful read. Really? I'm hearing something albino? Something about albino? Albino bats? What the, uh, albino bats. I don't even know if they have them. I love bats, though. I'm also seeing bumblebees. Something about bumblebees. If you start seeing bumblebees, oh, they're going to be coming out soon. My nose is itching like what? Somebody's eating lobsters. Somebody, somebody, somebody's got a lobster that was just like, or that's going to be put on a plate in front of you. It's still going to have its tentacles and everything. It's going to be like a, a whole steamed lobster, I'm seeing. Red, red, red. I'm seeing a lot of red. Red rum, red rum. Okay. Three ones. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You can't make this shit up. I am so real. I am for real. Sorry, Miss Jackson. I am for real. Listen, three ones talks about taking the lead in a situation, okay? Taking the lead with confidence. You have the confidence to do things your way. Yeah. Because it's bringing you emotional happiness and it's making you strong. You're, you're getting, like, you're, you're strengthening somehow. And look at all this happiness. So take the lead and go in your own direction. You're gaining momentum. You, you, you know, you're looking ahead and you're growing. And that's all that counts. And in your own way. And we got three again. So you could be a March Pisces. Okay? Or, yeah, six and one. Look, <laughs> look at this, Pisces. It's bringing you in success. It's, you're making progress. It's also about self-confidence and pride. Okay, but like you're very confident in doing things your own way here. It's making the more you do things. Wow, listen to this. You ready for this? The more you do things your own way, and you you're a rebel without a cause. The more happiness and contentment it's bringing in. The more confident you're getting. The stronger you're getting. So it's like feeding off of the energy of you know. Yeah, well, energy, frequency, and vibration. So you're vibrating an energy where you're strong, you're confident, you're taking control, you're in control, you're doing things your own way, fuck everybody, and it's bringing you happiness, love, contentment, a lot of self-confidence, pride, and joy. And look, people might be even looking up to you now. You could be leading, right? Leaders always do things in a different way, and that's why they lead, right? So whatever you're doing, just be patient. Ooh, you got some kind of truth coming in. Some kind of victory. This is the facts. This is all the truth, by the way. That's that's your confirmation right there. It's the Ace of Swords. All right, this is good. Again, with the strength. You could have some kind of relationship coming in. You and somebody else could... We got another... Uh, oh, yeah? Listen, we got a King of Pentacles who's another uh, rebel over here coming in for you. You're going to like this. All right, so let's see. Uh, I gave you the signs. Let's get you some kippers. All right, so we shortened the intro because... Yeah, so now we got to put it in. So what I want to tell you is that we love you to death. We're sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every freaking form possible to infinity and beyond. If you need to contact me for any reason, the information is in the box below. And please and thank you, could you hit the like and subscribe and ring our bell. It is fun, entertainment purposes only. Doesn't cost you anything, and it will make you feel good. All right. Now, let's show me the Kipper. Here we go. Whoa. Okay, so Kipper, great for... Pisces. It's great fortune. 26 or 8. Somebody can be 62 or 26 here. 8 is August. Tell me. You have somebody's concerned. Okay. 33 or 6. Could be about anything. Could be about anything. Could be about their finances. I wouldn't worry about it. It could be about, you know, doing things in their own rebellious manner. Maybe somebody's concerned watching you do things in a rebellious manner. You know, people wish that they had that fortitude and strength and bravery to go just be themselves and lead. 
in, in an unconventional way. Maybe do things in a new method where people, you know, like, oh, no, it's supposed to be done this way forever and ever. No, no, no. You never learn that way. Ooh, somebody can be concerned about going to prison. Somebody might have some kind of a legal issue where they're worried about going to prison. Uh, you know, this also could be emotional, mental, spiritual, something like this. You know, with the little rat here, somebody might rat on somebody and get them in some kind of trouble. Doesn't have to be straight up three hots in a cot. It could just, you know, somebody could be concerned by something that's keeping them in some kind of imprisonment. Like the imprisonment of worry, fear, and concern. The 11th could be of significance. Somebody might be 92 here. And uh, that's November. Here, there's a family room with no family. Somebody could be concerned about... Somebody, okay. Somebody could be concerned about their family, like where they are or what they are all doing. This is somebody who probably lives alone. Uh, this person that lives alone, they could be imprisoned in their house. And what I mean by that is like the silence is deafening. It's a cold place. Nobody comes and visits. There's one chair, a few plants, a dusty tea set that's about 100 years old. Maybe it's worth something in the antique world, but nobody wants to touch it. it smells like mothballs. It's cold. Well, there's nobody here. There's pictures on the walls. Number three could be of significance. Three, three, three. Look, threes across the board. Threes are pure energy of the ascended masters. So this is a you know somebody could be imprisoned at home. Somebody might be in house arrest. That could be too. But you know, somebody might yeah yeah. This person lives alone. It's like it's like a prison sentence when they go home. It's dead silent. It, yeah, it's lonely. It could be an older person. Here we go. Yeah, they're in despair. Somebody's in despair. Thirty two or five. It could be because of this. I, I really feel like somebody's alone. They feel like they're in some kind of prison of concern, worry, and fear. Maybe it doesn't even have to be like physical prison. Somebody might be homeless. Somebody might be unemployed. God forbid hungry. They can't feed their pets. Oh, my God. Maybe they're cold. Oh, my God. What's going on here? What another three in the house. Here we go. Something about court. Somebody might have to go to court for something here. It could be. All right? They could be concerned about this. They could be 32 or 5. Something about May. What else with the Kippers? Look, there's a main female. Show me. Show me. Kipper. Anything else, Kipper? Can we be done here? Yeah, there's a home, a house, a family room. Somebody's empty. Maybe somebody's got to go away to jail and they got to leave the house. This is bothering them. But somebody is getting, somebody's getting some kind of unexpected income. This could have something to do with a court case. It could. Or a house or a home, right? Could be. Whatever this unexpected income is, you know, it's a great fortune. You're not expecting it. I don't know how you're going to get it. At least I'm not seeing the death card, so that's really good. Is anybody just going to work for it? Okay, let's see here. The bottom of the deck, you're going to get some kind of message. Number seven, that's July. Message of concern. Any kind of a message. It could just be a message. Maybe somebody got to go to court. Something like this. A message about some money, perhaps. You would like that, right? Show me. Okay. So, you have the new moon in Capricorn. Step up and lead. Step up and lead, Pisces. You're a leader. Do things in your own way. What am I telling you? Did I just talk about leading? Yes, thank you. There was my nose. Show me. You also have the first quarter moon in Aquarius. Trust the universe. You're on your path, Pisces, so just go with the flow. Okay? Even if you don't understand it, sometimes you're not meant to. Just do, just do whatever you are being guided to do. Even if people are looking at you like you're not supposed to be doing it that way. Okay? Who's, you know. Yeah. What made them, you know, some kind of uh, authority on how things should be done? I don't care who it is. Now, here you go. Last quarter moon in Libra. Make time for self-love. Very important. If you're, you know, if you're the type of person that when you're in a relationship, you really care for the other person and you nurture them and you, you know, do that for yourself. Be in a relationship with yourself. Love yourself. Here we go. Now, over here you have new moon in Gemini. Think it through. So you have the new moon twice. You have the last quarter and the first quarter moon. I'm seeing a lot of violet or lavender or purple here. I'm smelling lavender with my stuffy nose. That's absurd. You have Libra, Gemini, Capricorn, and Aquarius. And last but not least, you have first quarter moon and Gemini again. So that's the first quarter moon twice. You have Gemini twice. Speak your world into being. The bottom of the deck, new moon and Scorpio go deeper. I'm seeing a lot of lavender purple shades here. Here we go. Oh, you know what? Before we do anything else, I forgot the hidden truths. Let's get those out. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What's the hidden truths for Pisces today? Please and thank you. Okay, you have. We both know I am not the one for you. So there's somebody there that's not the one for you. Somebody's afraid to contact you. 
they knew exactly what they were doing, but they still want you anyway. So that sounds like some kind of a, uh, yeah, somebody wants you, okay? But they know that you don't belong together. They're afraid to contact you, and they, they knew exactly what was going on, whatever was going on. It's going to be different for everybody. You, they replay your conversations over and over and over again, okay? Last but not least, here we go. Oh, shit, I'm not taking all those. You have Gemini, number three, March. So you could be a March Pisces. And you have Taurus, number two. Uh, that's February. So the second or the third. And last but not least, do we have any more of these? Please and thank you. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. You have Jupiter, 18 or 9. Jupiter is, um, what is Jupiter? That's Sagittarius. Okay, and you got Venus, uh, 16 or 7, that's Taurus and uh, Libra. Let's get you some letters. Letters to Pisces. Here we go. All right, Pisces, your letters this week are, you have two W's, that's weird. I'm hearing Weight Watchers. <laughs> D... Okay, a two E's. A, uh, I'm hearing dead on arrival. Why, why do I have to hear that? D O. Okay, you have P. Oh my God, you have three W's. Okay, so listen, this came out one day last week. I don't know for who, and I couldn't figure out what the hell three W's was. And one of you guys came in and commented World Wide Web. So yeah, something about the World Wide Web. It could be something about a police department, PD, right? The PD. Um, yeah. Okay. We also have an M. And an S. Michigan, Missouri, something, World Wide Web, Police Department, MS, Mass, there could be some kind of mess. Oh my God, shooting, dead on arrival. Listen, DOA. If you guys see anything like that, oh God, I hate predicting this shit and then it happens. So there could be something on the World Wide Web that involves the Police Department. You know, um, I'm, he I'm hearing like mass, mass shooting, something like this. What a mess, oh my God. All right, let's get over this. I don't like this. WWWPDMS. Two E's, A O A O A I. Two O's and then, yeah, this, I don't like this. Whatever, okay, goodbye. Always remember, leave a logic and integrity, act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God. Karma is real. I don't like what I'm seeing in my head here. I'm seeing like a worldwide, like a, some kind of mess, crazy thing going on. People running in all different directions. So just stay frosty, people. I love you. All right. Love and light.